So we know that Gun Run is in charge of the shoujo, but apparently Project Melody is the real founder of the shoujo. And Giga is going to break it down and explain to us how that's possible. Let's Hi, go. I'm Giga, and I'm reading Mel's TV Tropes page right now. And I'm okay. Thomas Jefferson. I invented nice to meet you, the Thomas. dimmer switch and the swivel chair. Nice and to meet this you. is Giga Chat, where we talk about Giga whatever Chat. we feel I love like it. with me, because I'm Giga. She is Giga. I believe it. I've seen it. I read about it as well. Not it's really bio. true. Also, All right. I just realized yes. that G Giga so hot. Chat sounds like Giga Chat. Did you realize that? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. I thought it would be cute. I wonder where the idea came from. I was thinking of the name for it. I asked my chat. We have a, a Giga Chat emote, right? That's and I said to my chat, what should terrifying. I name the series? And they all just started <laughs> spamming the, the emote. And I was like, Giga Chad? You want me to name my talk show Chad? And they were like, no, chat. But it took them... Chad 20 is so minutes smart. to say that. They just kept spamming oh, 20 minutes. the emote. And I was like, oh, not getting it. I was like, time. what are you saying? Since you're one of the people who sort of founded the shoujo, right? I was the founder. You literally were, right? Hmm. They say that you have a leadership role. How do you feel about that? Um, maybe for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like the then what movies <laughs> the adventures so i was just doing my streaming thing also i never thought about going on twitch oh this video game site where they like to annoy the shit out of me i hate it but <laughs> i understandable debuted on a different site that was the only thing i wanted to do and then gun run reached out to me on twitter the day right. that i was closing dms like the very i was going to oh. click delete and then he was the top and uh he said hey i love what you're doing uh anime is awesome and you know <laughs> hentai and I, I like your vibe is if there's anything i can do to help let me know and he's like you gun run was shooting his shot huh? and i'm like hell no i won't and then <laughs> in the back of my mind i thought it was gonna be a youtuber agency <laughs> But then uh, I accidentally ran into Mouse mm. and I heard her talking seeing about a couple seeing outfits, someone maybe. on a train and then she sang Ava Maria and I said, her, her right there, she is the one. Yes. She is the one. I just like the group environment. I like doing things with people, with mm. new people especially. I like okay. dragging my old friends and my new friends into the same room and like same. being like, you, you are friends now, you know, <laughs> mm. putting them in a box. Let's see how they combine. Of the idol company in the East. We do it Western, we do it different. And mm -hmm. Western you're not style. required to stream with anyone or, or keep within the company. You, you can just yeah. be yourself and hang with anyone and that's perfectly valid and awesome. The I company's just the community spot. Pressure to do anything with anyone in particular. I know at any point in time it can be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to collab with just you guys for a month and everyone be like, hell yeah, let's go. You know, like, yep. you that's can just cool. switch it up anytime. It's so nice. Yep. Or it's like, oh, I want to forgot like for it. like three months. I'm ice skating. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. I like going this. Through a jello Thank phase. you. I couldn't think of literally anything. I don't know. I think we strive for. Bro, ever since I sent my request to Vishojo, it's like, yeah, bro, I'm already here. I'm in. Like, I'm just waiting to get my model so we can uh, make some videos. Yeah, let's go. Health by again saying the quiet <laughs> part. Like I've been talking about my sadness recently, and we're that's real fine. People. I, I think that's good. Obviously, we're like oh, real and complex. real people. <laughs> One of the things that that's makes good. me happy. That's good. I like right? that. Mm -hmm. It's just meeting new people and doing things with new people constantly. My Good. streaming career has gone the way it has is because I just meet new people and vibe with them all the time. So I end up knowing a lot of people. I end up getting into a lot of different types of content and things. And so like nice. what I stream is often dictated by that. Mm -hmm. I think if this group weren't the way it is, I would not have been able to continue doing that thing that I really like doing, right? I would have had to join and then just be like, okay, well, I only have 10 friends now, you know? Oh my God, oh my God, right? Yeah. Yes, that's what I've heard from other people, like concerned and stuff. Only 10 friends is interesting. It's like, oh, but I'm going to miss all my friends. It's not like that here, Your though. Your friends still <laughs> exist. Yeah, or like, oh, you can't. Oh, oh you <laughs> not at all. The final thing about VSJ, I guess from early on, we can be unhinged as well. I remember in Blue Cast podcast, which was just me and a few of the oh. girls in the early days. Oh, we Blue had Cast dudes podcast. on, we had Taka on. Mm. And then eventually Mouse met her best friend. My Ooh. OG can't talk to a man. I'm, I'm a no, man, that doesn't that's exist. not allowed. And then yeah. I remember her saying, oh, well, you can all suck my, I mean, you can mute it. I remember. Uh, we all know what Mousy says. You can suck my dick because I can hang out with whoever the fuck I want. And I remember saying like, yeah. yeah. And I think Hell yeah. right Power at to that the point that sort of broke the thread, the expectation mm. in the VTuber community that that you can't hang right. out with other people of different genders and sexes. I love that. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's give and take, right? There's people that love it. I, for one, love it. And then there's people that absolutely hate it. Those people obviously aren't watching Vishoja, right? 
So there's a, a place and there's a time for everything. I remember in the last video uh, with Giga, we talked about I, I, people going from VTuber to IRL. And there's somebody that left an amazing comment saying how you know, they don't like it and they feel maybe it's even a bit disrespectful. Like you built your fan base off the VTuber, off the immersion, just to switch to IRL. And I can get that standpoint as well, but I also get the standpoint of, hey, this person wants to creatively change what they do and what they create. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. And for you to take offense to it, I understand that as well. You are promoting somebody for a certain reason. And when it changes, then it's not for you anymore. But at that point, then you just got to let it go because now it's not marketed towards you, which, yeah, of course, can be a slap in the face. But that's just how life works, man. At one point in time, your favorite sports team was named something else and it wasn't named what it is now. Times change. People change. Environments change. Right. It's always up to the individual to choose what they enjoy. But it's also something you got to realize the people that you do enjoy or whatever it is that you do enjoy is also subject to change. And if you don't like it, then you do have to leave. You do have to find something else because they're not going to go back. At least if they really are serious about the change and their commitment to doing something else, then they, they shouldn't go back. At least that's just my opinion on it. Right. So, yeah, I, I think this I think Vishojo, what Vishojo was doing specifically or Western appeal is great. There are still going to be other VTube organizations that appeal to a certain demographic, whether whatever it is. And so you just got to go to those spaces. This is a great video. Uh, oh, transition. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mel. Transition. To talk about some big news. And what is that big news? Today's sponsor. Oh. is a popular game in Japan and this? Korea that even has its own anime. And this That's just cool, in, actually. it looks like you have been appointed as an advisor to the illustrious Federal Investigation Club, Shala, located okay. in the massive academy named Kibitos. Gigatos. The reports are saying that you'll be helping resolve conflicts in some absolutely crazy 3D battles. Get to work with some charming mm. allies as you progress in this popular anime is this more like Nikkei or is this more like a turn-based? It looks like a With an unpredictable like a main story and thrilling military action adventure, you'll be glued to your screen. That's not all. The game has tons of content coming up. New characters, new stories. Oh, and no, they have auto. Today, you okay, get 100 auto free recruitments now from July 23rd 100. to July 29th for a wow. great opportunity to dive in as a new player. Not only that, free star chances are doubled mm. right after from July 30th to August 6th. The best mm. time. Download the game for free with my link in the description. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the best advertisements I've ever seen for a mobile game ever. And I legitimately will download this game. But how long I play it, honestly, not sure, but I'm interested in trying it out. Especially since I almost mastered Reverse 1999, the only other mobile game that I had. I also redownloaded Clash of Clans. So if you want to play Clash of Clans, uh, hit me up in the Discord and it will add you to the clan so we can finally have some clan wars. We only have five members right now. Description or pin comment. Anyway, back to the video. What's your favorite, like, odd thing that I made up? You got all the time in the world, don't worry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I could ask them right now. <laughs> you could ask them right now. I'll go into my Discord yeah, right now, too. Dear chat, they said, oh boy. <laughs> oh, they're typing. They're typing. Oh. Ooh, I have one. You are prone to making on impulse a mm -hmm. sound to signify intrigue in something. Where did this come from? I never heard it until people started pointing it out. Fully unaware. Mm. Completely unaware that I made quote unquote Mel noises. Mel noises. <laughs> and then I started seeing yeah. the clips. I'm like, what the hell? I wish she'd shut the fuck up. It's really annoying. <laughs> no. Vitriolic best buds. Ah, pretty much like all of Zen's mm. friends, Giga too spends a good amount of collabs with Zen. Mercifully, is Lee making fun of her. Wow. One piece of her merch <laughs> is the E of friendship, which is just a white t-shirt with black text that says Zen Treya sucks. I love that, by the way, and I'm so <laughs> incredibly saddened that I wasn't able to get it. When people do meet so events, a lot of the time they wear that shirt. To, to visit me, which is so funny. I wanted to pay homage to Zen. I wouldn't have really thought about joining the Shoujo if it weren't for her encouraging me, because mm -hmm. I just felt like it made sense for me to stay indie. And she just kind of had talks with me, explained how mm. things were, and was like, no, I think you would fit really well with this. The real leader of the Shoujo. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted to like do something. How do I make a piece of merch for my own debut line? that has something to do with her without that mm. being kind of weird because <laughs> it's my debut, you know? No, that makes, yeah, and that I makes, was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna do something that's really me, which is just when we're collabing, I'll just be like, oh, I think Zen sucks. I just I just say it out of nowhere. Like just just like playground level, you know, you stink or whatever. I thought I thought it'd be so funny to just make a shirt that says like Zen sucks, but specifically to spell her name so wrong. So many articles spell her name wrong. They keep getting it they wrong do. all the time. Do you have any any particularly embarrassing stories? Whether it's yourself or like embarrassing catching someone stories. else in something. That's a big Oi. one. Embarrassing <laughs> like stories. Embarrassing. Uh, I, I have hmm. two questions. Yes. Embarrassing stories. Does Mel get bothered by people poking fun of her yoga? Yoga? <laughs> especially, this is, they're especially is referring to like places outside of those sites. That was Sexy yoga. Mentioned. That was hilarious. Uh, when that happened, when I forgot about the Lethal Company, that's what they're talking about is when I was over yeah. on... I was having a particular the intense time, and then I, I get oh a yeah, DM she had to go play Lethal Company. Like, Where are you? Like, oh, <laughs> shit, guys, I'm supposed to be in Lethal. Oh, I'm letting everyone down. I gotta go immediately. I, I guess shut down and went to the next job. Mouse is just everywhere, and she's like, I know where Mel is. And she looks, and then she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. She said several puns. Like she was on fire. Oh, she She's was. So She's on funny. fire. And she was like, "Don't worry." She, she was like, "Don't worry." She's, she'll finish her stream soon. Yeah, don't worry. She's coming. And like Zen's just t terrified. He doesn't know what's going on. And Mouse is losing oh, it's, her shit. It's, it's so funny how bad Zen is with this stuff. Zen will act a certain way and and whatever. And then and then you like actually mention anything like legitimately sexual in front of her, and she's like, ah. Oh! I know. Really? So funny. That's Chat interesting. was having a great time because if they knew, they found it hilarious, right? Like, like no one, no one was in any way like the negative. They were just laughing. And if they didn't know then the people who did know found that hilarious because there were also people in the chat. Like there, there are people in general who watch you on Twitch who don't know about the other stuff that you do in general. They don't know about all of your content. Yeah. They've just kind of found you they on only Twitch. They only watch the like, Twitch, oh, yeah. Video games, you know? Yeah. And no, like, I gotta try harder. That's all they know. <laughs> Do you like the separation of some people knowing and not knowing? Or would you, do you like people kind of knowing everything? That's an interesting question. Oh. I had like a breakdown not that long ago. I've been going okay. through shit, but that did not help. Where I saw some people on mm -hmm. Twitch where they're like, what, Mel does porn underneath it? Like, oh, she used to do mm. it in the past and stuff. She's moved mm. on as you do. And, and mm. when I read all that, I'm like, uh, oh my God. How'd that make you feel? I don't know I do porn. This is my favorite thing. It's my number one thing. Twitch isn't my okay. number right. one thing. No, I. I and you know, that's actually interesting that she says that, you know, gooning and that and having fun, right? The these sexual things that that is her passion and that is what she enjoys doing. You know, that's that's pretty rare to hear. At the same time, it's like Twitch is how a lot of people found out about Mel, but at the same time, whenever Mel did start doing the, you know, the the extra stuff, the spicy stuff, everybody was, it's like everybody on Twitch knew her for gaming. And some people, of course, knew the spicy stuff, but the outside internet knew about the spicy stuff and didn't know much about her doing Twitch. They just saw her busting it open. And they were like, what? This is a, a anime girl. It's not even written. Like, and, and of course, all the other, I remember all the other spicy female talent online were actually hating on Mel, saying like, oh, it's not real, blah, 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 blah. So it, it's like, it's, it's interesting because the way the internet works, there's definitely people that only stay in one section. And then there's one people that stay in this section. For a person like me, that's, you know, I'm in and out and around. At least I used to be. I used to be really like all over besides like the super far stuff. Like I would never go to like the dark web and I would never go to 4chan or Reddit. So like there is definitely places that even escape my gaze because I don't want to look at them. But the, when it comes to like Twitch and like the hub and like some basic, you know, teenage de degeneracy, like, yeah, Mel was in multiple sections. You know what I'm saying? So. For me, it's like, yeah, she does. She busts it open and then she plays some games with some friends. It's like, it is what it is. It's 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 her thing. But of course, I can get if you're only into gaming and you find out she's doing that. That's crazy for some people. And then other people that find out she's busting up is like, oh, she's playing games, too. They might want to check it out because one of my favorite streamers it was a, a, a model, a star, uh, as you would say, Shibuya Kaho. Shout out to Shibuya Kaho. Absolutely love her content. And sometimes I even pop into her streams every now and then. 
right? And she doesn't even, at least from what I know, she doesn't do the adult stuff anymore. But when she like came onto the scene of Twitch, it was like, yo, former porn star Shibuya Kaho is playing games. And it's like, what? And you know, you hang out and you're like, oh yeah, it's cool. I mean, they're like, even though they bust it open online, they're still normal people at the end of the day. Well, normal, of course, subjective, but they're just people. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. It's my number one thing. Twitch isn't my number right. one thing. No. Understandable. I, I want to be known as the one. That's, that's okay. Right. Do you want no, to be known as that? That's fine. I don't know. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Just do what you want. Yeah. I can't imagine anyone seeing just how like happy and proud of it you are and be like, ooh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, some Without people, being, like, they're like, what? Person. Early days was rough. Like in the very first mm -hmm. month, it was rough. It was very atypical. If we can't make this the healthiest porn community that exists, like I'm out, I'm yeah. gone. We are an mm. incredibly healthy, supportive, open-minded community. Yeah. When randomly someone That's sticks good to out hear. and they're like, ah, oh, sh shame culture or no. something like that, shame. shut mm. it down immediately. Yeah. We're proud of ourselves and anything that we take pride in, especially porn. Right. There are people especially. who do know about your other content, but they don't necessarily mm -hmm. watch it or it's not just what what they're looking for mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. least from my perspective not saying that no one does this from what i see i don't see people talking about it negatively right mm -hmm. i just it, the worst it's just I a thing to talk them, about oh, yeah, i don't watch it not for me but i love yeah. twitch streams right it's like it's like that we have a lot of ace members well, because you also got to remember like yeah you know porn is everywhere you know and it's big like of came out and legitimately every not of course not everybody but like it went from maybe what let's say on average on average every person that you see online or at least every woman that you saw online maybe three out of ten were doing some adult stuff now if you look online it's more like eight out of ten do some type of adult stuff because times are tough and if you can get paid to bust it open by yourself a lot of people jumped at that, that opportunity, especially back when OF launched and people were talking about, yeah, I made four million dollars. I made eight million dollars. I made three hundred thousand dollars busting it open. And like, yeah, bro, you're struggling. And you see this person busting it open and they're not even, you know, getting railed. They're just doing it by themselves and they're getting paid that much. And you're working a, a, a normal job and you're you're hating it. Like, yeah, I can. And I get why so many people started switching to doing adult content. It's, you know, it's all about perspective and it's normalized. It's very much normalized. It's like, oh, they have an OF profile or they have do they do this. They do that. It's like, yeah, people online, you know, what's the biggest career kids want to do when they grow up? They say they want to be a YouTuber or a streamer or whatever. And you can see them doing it, doing the TikToks. Right. Of course, it it, it makes sense if you actually look outwards, you expand your, your mind and you expand your sight and you say, huh, maybe there are things that people enjoy that I don't enjoy. Hmm. It is what it is. Not for me, but I love her Twitch streams, right? It's like, it's like that. We have mm. a lot of ACE members because the, cool. the conversation is like, wait, I can still watch your content. That's, yes. that's okay. Yep. <laughs> they like yeah. join the discord and they're like, Hey, can I be here? And that's interesting. I, I so for the people that don't know, like asexuals and can correct me if I'm wrong on this, because I haven't really, uh, you know, even talked to an ace person in a while, but it's like, they enjoy being in relationships. They have no issues with commitment, but they're just personally not interested in sexual gratification gratification they're not really into that part and it's not saying that they can't do it it's just something that it is what it is like it's it's just a thing that exists so yeah it's kind of cool that they can just show up and watch and not feel judged to just watch just watch it enjoy it it, it makes what me it uncomfortable is. the porn world but i like the twitch world and right stuff. Mm. and then they learn very quickly like you can be mm -hmm. whatever you want to be and yeah. and that makes me happy yeah. where people are like i yeah, can live talk your life. about my stuff and also not feel bad about it my community when it comes to like sexual content is completely the opposite of yours oh i know i, I disallow all of it I feel, I feel, <laughs> and, I feel and that's sad. fine it's your community no. like, so, uh, mm -mm. The it's thing an is, interesting I'm dynamic too by it i'm just like hey don't apply that to me <laughs> yeah hey, you could talk about asses don't talk about my ass. That's like kind of the way I've set up the boundaries, and it's so good easy to follow. Everything, That's, yeah, it is. One hundred percent. I see more of that when you have like communities like yours and mine being adjacent to each other. I see people who will completely code switch. 
yep. between our chats, yes. you know? And I'm mm. like, you see that? They set this tripping. Is, this is possible. <laughs> this <laughs> is doable. Look at how many people are doing that. It's great. All of the chatters that like watch a lot of us, I see them doing that, like very easily navigating all these different chats and communities without like stepping on toes. And it's just nice to see. <laughs> a rising tide lifts all boats, yes. right? Just everyone supporting everyone helps everyone. What are your goals right now? I want to be the number one household name of sexual education cartoon <gasps> on the internet. And I think you can do it. Stay true to your convictions and you can do anything in this world. I want, yes. you're not necessarily number one, but like the, the household name. You I, say you like, want to be I'm number one. one. I ate that shit up forever. Yeah. I always wanted to be in this and right. I want to be the household name. I love that. I feel like she is. A lot oh, of the education uh, is a little too I don't know much about clinical. It, and it's not going into feelings, social aspects, mental stuff related to any of this, which Deeper. all of it should be one big old package. But there aren't many resources that uh, people can just like submit a question or open a discussion on this stuff that are well known, at least. They exist. Uh, I would there, definitely, but... I definitely would love to help uh, host or hold discussions like this. You know, have like my section of the shoujo being just dedicated to having the conversations, the deeper conversations that not everybody one wants to talk about, but it gives an avenue for people that do want to talk about it, whatever it is, whether it's, uh, you know, relationships or sexual, whatever, or even just spiritualness or mindfulness, the knowledge or whatever, whatever it is, I think open having an a way to have this open discussion. And this is what I sent in my Vishojo uh, uh, application. This is the video, like the two minute video I sent them. I was like, yeah, I, I feel like I will be able to do this. I am able to have these open discussions because me personally, I am the type of guy that is the listener. I can listen and understand and empathize with whatever it is that you're talking about. And we can have a discussion around it. It doesn't mean I agree with it. And it doesn't mean that I may like it, but having the conversation I think is important. And there's definitely, there definitely has to be boundaries, of course, and there has to be like a balance. So, you know, of course we will see whenever the time comes, whenever they shut down their applications, I think it's going to be on the six and then we'll see what happens. If we get past round one, Hey, let's go baby. And then we'll go past round two, three, and then, Hey, we in, and then we'll have these conversations and We'll discuss it and we'll get it together and we'll we'll put it together. I think that would be very fun. And I think it'd be healthy, not just for Vishojo, but for the internet community at large, not just Twitch. I think it can be deeper than I think and go can go beyond that. And yeah, I just believe it'll happen. Even if it's not with Vishojo, I still plan on taking this up whenever I do get the equipment, which I will be getting. So yeah, we'll talk about it. You really have to find them. So yeah, I feel like there's such a big need, huge need. I feel like I could have done so much these last four years if I didn't have such a crippling there's mood always disorder. There's time, though. Huh? No, there's always time to do stuff, though. There always. is there is always time to do stuff. And I think, uh, Mel, you know, you say, oh, yeah, four years I was dealing with my issues. Have you fixed them? Have you dealt with your issues or are you still dealing with them? Because progress is progress, regardless if it's slow or fast. As long as you're moving towards whatever it is that you want to move towards, you can do it. You just need to look inside yourself like this is no joke this is no bs this is no spiritual mumbo jumbo if you look inside yourself you will find the answer to whatever it is that you want or whatever it is that you're facing you can't just go out to the outside world and say hey uh i want to do this but internally you're all messed up and you can't even figure out which way is left and which way is right you don't even know because you don't even know yourself you can't even feel it within yourself emotion is I think it's what it's six to 10 times stronger than the mental, like the electricity, because we're electric beings, right? Using your brain is, is good, obviously, but also using your emotions at the same time, it makes you feel so much better and it makes it easier for you to say or do whatever it is you want. You don't believe me, look at me. Me saying this just feels good. It feels good in my being to outwardly express, hey, you can do this stuff if you just look within yourself. And I spent three months trying to fast track my way into getting into a position like this. And I think it's absolutely helping. Of course, 
I've al I've always done some type of meditation without knowing it, but now that I'm aware that I'm doing it and I know that I'm doing it, I'm always looking inside myself. It makes it easier for me to point out like, hey, you know, maybe your issue is this, maybe your issue is that. Of course, I don't really know. It's up to you to know, but maybe me saying out loud will help you say, hey, maybe that is the issue. Let me go focus on that. Once you figure out your issues, bro, you can do anything you want in this world. And that's not a joke at all. Let's continue. Like there's mood always disorder. time, though. Huh? No, there's always time to do stuff, though. Always. When I was always. On my first trip in school, life, life I keeps going forward. Saying, it was Mean Girls where it's like, don't have sex, you'll get pregnant and die. It was, it was that. It's so people are dumb. Dry. Yep, yep. <laughs> and then you'll see, oh, we don't need that education. Everyone knows to wear a condom you're, that you're gonna get pregnant. Obviously, everything is obvious to them. It's yeah. not ob. Yeah, it's obvious to them. But the obviousness is not obvious if you've never had the idea to look into that type of perspective. And how can you if nobody is there to guide you or teach you? Why do we teach kids? Why do we have ele Why do we have school? Why do we have education? If everything was so obvious, why don't we let people? live in their own devices because that's not how the world works and i think people just they don't realize it because they're too caught up in their own thing you know you need to be aware that there are things that you do not know you know a great philosopher said the only thing that i know is i know nothing and you being aware that you know nothing opens your mind to the opportunities to learning everything in the world and if you can open your mind to learn everything in the world you can become the strongest human being that you can possibly become i wholeheartedly believe this because it's true. Yeah. God, it's such a whole swath. With sexual education, it's more yeah. than it's more than sex. It it's way more than that. Such a oh, deep it's a hundred percent culture as mm -hmm. yes, as yes, a hundred percent. And there's people that don't realize it. They're just trying to nut. They're just trying to get a sneaky link because the like the culture and the atmosphere promotes it. And I think it's time we stop promoting this nonsense and start promoting something that'll actually benefit human society. Because obviously we're going to hell in a handbasket because people don't have, they don't figure out their own issues. Going from dick to dick or vagina to vagina is not going to solve your issues. Trying to find the one, you can find the one. You just need to figure out yourself first and then you can find somebody that can complement whatever it is that you're looking for in a partner. But if you just want a nut, I mean, there's people that get paid to just do that and they could put the emotions to the side. Listening, my, my face just <laughs> I don't know why my face died during such a funny... You're fine, you're fine. I guess I'm just frozen face now. What is a weird rabbit hole you've gone down that you wish more people knew about or more people would go down? Harmonics. Absolutely harmonics. Knowing how the world works, and it starts with you, 100%. If more people did that, if more people had time to do that or had more time to learn that, oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. But with time. I'm going down the rabbit hole of Warhammer. That is Warhammer is dope too. I like Warhammer. Thing. I always knew yeah. the term. I thought it was like some like alternative <laughs> history battle type thing. I didn't know right. it was like, yeah, what's your rabbit hole, yo? Honestly, it's one that I've talked about before. Musicals. I think theater musicals are dope musicals too. a bad rap, right? Because they're so fucking annoying. They're so, like, uh, don't get me wrong. Hey, man. A lot of my friends were theater kids and I was into theater, but I was like, God, stop singing in public. You know, like I was embarrassed by they it. let it out. So I hated it. But I loved theater. Uh, I was the theater kid singing in public, and I still do that. Good, I'm I no like it. No longer embarrassed, especially by it. if you're it was good. More so, uh, school age me. Yeah, it's like, when you're oh, young. Oh God, stop! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what a nice hole. It's a great hole. I love your hole. It's great. It's just thank you. Superb. Thank you. Giga Chat is a highly cut down and edited version of about an hour or two of actual footage. So okay. the amount that we cut out is huge. YouTube memberships are now open. I want to release Whoa! those fuller episodes for members. So if you don't want to miss anything, it's available. Join now. Juicy happen. And I'm w sad plug. that my tablet is on 1% and won't open. <laughs> that is okay. You know, I'm everyone says I'm flat and me. here we are. It's become real. <laughs> I mean, it was already real, but now, now it's realer. <laughs> Cool. That was a good chat. I enjoyed that. That was really good. <laughs> VTubers are terminally online. Wait, what episode is this? Uh, I can't even tell. I can't even tell. But yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Kilato, Kilatos? Tr Kilatos Truest Illusions. Kilatos. Kilatos. I'm guessing that's some type of Greek name. Not too sure. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Join the Discord. Link down below. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. 
And I will see you guys on the next one. Y'all be safe. Hope you learned something today, by the way. I wasn't just spitting this stuff just to spit it. Maybe write it down, take it in some notes, man. Put your notes in the comment section. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.